In the previous video, with the help of React hook form dev tools, we were able to clearly see that the library is tracking the field values. What you should also know is that React hook form does this without re-rendering the component. Let me show that to you. Outside the component, I'm going to declare a count variable. Let render count is equal to zero. Within the component, I'm going to increment the count value. I'm going to add an h1 tag that says YouTube form. And beside the title, I'm going to render the count value. Render count divided by two. I'm dividing by two because React strict mode renders components twice during development in order to detect any problems with the code and warn us about them. I will leave a link to the doc that explains why that is the default behavior. Please feel free to read that article when you get the time. If we save the file and head to the browser, we should see the render count as one. But now, after the initial render, when I type into the form fields, the component does not re-render. And this is great for performance. With traditional React forms, where you work with controlled components, every keystroke will cause the component and its children to re-render. React hook form, on the other hand, does not do that. It follows the uncontrolled inputs behavior, a very important point to keep in mind. All right, now that we are able to manage the form state in a performant way, join me in the next video where we will learn about form submission with React hook form. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.